Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is TNW. If you want to subscribe, favorite, share it, it's all up to you. This is your channel. Not mine, yours, everybody. Subscribe to, to the channel, please, please, please. I'm not bagging, right? I'm bagging. Right. This is a sad, 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 sad video. Um, this is the life and times of one of the greatest interviewers of all time. He brings the journalists to... He made journalism in professional wrestling so insightful. Very... Very, very good on the microphone. He brings hard-hitting questions, no matter who you are, big star, little star. You're not a star, he will make you a star. We told him we want to talk about me and Jing in Oakland. They're going to be like, like a five-minute video discussing the life and times of me and Jing. And like, me and Jing was one of the greatest pound a pound interview of all time. He been he been in moments that you would think like, my God, he's he, he should be in the Hall of Fame because he been in a whole lot of great moments in pro wrestling. And one of the biggest moments he ever been was been in was the introduction of the NWO um, in WCW at Bass at the Beach in 1996 where Hulk Hogan turned on Lash Muga and Macho Man Randy Savage and when he when Hogan dropped the lace drop on Macho Man and he and then Macho, and then Mean Gene Oakland Really, something like he really was really brave because fans were throwing nothing like popcorn and and beer cans and pop cans and soda cups into the ring, and he was doing the interview like a real broadcast journalist does, and and me and Gene was was a great talker. He he I I am I am putting up his Wikipedia like but he been involved in maybe he been in the AWA the World Wrestling the World Wrestling Federation and he been he been he been with Vince McMahon for a long time. He been with WCW for a long time. He been with AWA for a long time. He had tenure everywhere he goes, and you cannot see that. You cannot say that to with anybody because I know Jr. He been with WCW for like maybe two three years when they they. He canned him. I think like David Beth gave him a chance, the longest chance. I think that like the journalist business, you know, like he 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 won the hard hitting question. He been with um. I remember he was doing an interview with Booker T. Booker T, um, the Harlem Heat, and um, Sister Seri. Um, and this, this is when Booker T said, uh, oh, Hulk Hogan, I'm coming for you, nigga. <laughs> he coming for you, nigga. <laughs> like, he, he been, I'm like, okay, um, from for the be like that, but he involved in so many botches, but like it wasn't a 
He been in botches. Like, he it was, like, memorable. He been in memorable botches. You know what I mean? He been when, um, I think the Roy Rumble, and they had, like, a um, projector screen. And the projector screen just kind of um, rolled up and fell to the floor. I said, what the? Well, what the f? <laughs> and, he, and he he and he continued on with the interview, and like he he has some some memorable moment interviewing superstars. Um, I remember with the whole one eight hundred I think hotline, the hotline in WCW. The hotline in WCW. Like, you spend. If you were a little kid, you, you didn't think like it would cost money to 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 use the, the, the hotline. Oh, it pays. I think it's one night, 99 cents a minute. <laughs> And like, I think I think I did it like maybe five times to see the results of a pay per view because we didn't have cable at the time, and I used the hotline to get pay per view results. I think I bought maybe two pay per views in the nineties. In the nineties, um, I think I was about eight, eight, nine years old. I think pay-per-view cost about $29.95. And I bought, I didn't buy any WCW pay-per-views. I bought all WWF pay-per-views. So I missed, and I thank God for the WWE Network because he was hilarious in WCW. Because you would not think of Bean Gene being a comedian but he was downright hilarious in WCW. And I remember the chemistry with Bobby the Brain Heenan and Mean Gene Oakland. That was the greatest combination of commentary. If you, you would think that JR and the King might be the greatest commentator of all time. Mean Gene Oakland and Bobby Devane Heenan had so much chemistry. You know who else had chemistry? Was Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby Devane Heenan. That was one of the greatest, like, pound to pound, like, trios of TV personalities in pro wrestling right now. Those will never come. Those will never be another mean gene. There will never be another mean gene. There will like just like there will never be a uh, a uh, gorilla and Bobby the Brain Heena combination. There will never be another Jr. There will never be another Jerry the King Longer. It will never. It will never be. Another Mean Gene Oakland because Mean Gene Oakland was one of the greatest. And you're gonna be really, really missed. I want to watch Legend House again just because like Mean Gene Oakland was so funny in that show. On that show. So I'm not gonna rewatch it. I think there are only eight episodes. So. Like, Mean Gene was such a funny, funny guy. And he gonna be daily mixed, mix, mix, miss, mixed, mix. Why do I say mix? I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, mix. <laughs> um, he gonna be really missed. Like, he, he, he. I, know, I think about, like, if WWE be come out with a combination of Mean Gene Oakland on the other week, week uh, his moments. He was he was the he was, he was great. And he's gonna be mi- miss he's gonna be miss and he um he is in heaven with Bobby the Brain Heenan 
uh, Roddy Piper, Gorilla Monsoon, like he he Eddie Guerrero. So they having a, a good old wrestling matches in heaven. So um, my condolences go to the, his family, his son, his wife, um, and. I'm really, I'm really going to miss him. Alright. Alright. Like, favorites, send your love in the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next video.